How you doing today? My name is Jeff Ray, featured guest host here with Weld.com. I'm back up in the lab today and I'm going to be going through an assortment of TIG torches and giving you an unbiased review on what and when I utilize different torches. So let's get at it. So the first thing I'm going to be getting into today is telling you the two different types of TIG torches they have out there. The first type being an air-cooled or argon-cooled torch as well as a water-cooled torch. And what that means is that the torch itself is actually cooled either by the air or argon or water. You can see here, this air cooled torch, the air just flows through there and that's what's gonna cool your lead in the torch itself. Here is a water cooled torch. It has a water inlet and outlet to circulate through the torch to keep this thing cool. This also helps over the longevity of the heat cycling the torches get diminished in the quality that they, they produce. So I prefer the water-cooled torches most of the time. The air-cooled torch is mostly common, especially if you're out in the field doing jobs and stuff like that. You won't really see water-cooled torches out in the field. That's more of a, a shop thing. For the water-cooled torches and the air-cooled torches, they both indicate the size of these torches by referencing two different number sets. For the water-cooled, you have the 20. This is the small torch. As well as on the water cooled, your larger torch is called an 18. So you got an 18 and a 20. For the air cooled torches, you have a number nine. This will be your small torch. You also have a 17. That's your medium sized torch. Then you have the 26. This is the largest of the torches probably going to use the most heat through this one. It has a straight air connection coming into it. I don't believe they make this for a water cooled setup. All these torches, like I said, size specific. So you got your smaller size torches and your larger size torches. They're both going to utilize different size caps for the back caps here. This being your larger torch button cap. This is going to be your smaller torch button cap. These are the smaller of the short pigtails on the back of the torch and then the longer pigtails for the torch. What these do for you is they give you a tighter clearance on the back of the torch. As you see, I can fit a whole piece of tungsten in here as well as it's very restricting on where I can fit this torch here. So that's where I like to utilize the button caps most of the time. In majority of the time, I can cut my tungsten in half and utilize the button caps with that. Sometimes I might have to put the uh, medium size caps on there, but I like to cut my tungsten in half and use it that way. So I just don't like all this hanging out here. When you have all this, this is more weight off of the back of the rig and it can actually affect how I weld because of that weight transfer of when I move this torch. So. That's just something to keep in mind. That being said with the caps, I'm going to go into the gas lenses and the, the collets and straight collets that we're going to use for these. Same thing. You can see here, this torch has no button cap on the back of it. Very small. It's for a very tight place and it has a little teeny tiny straight collet in there. It takes a second to get set up, but if you're in a confined space and you need that and you're very restricted, that torch head works awesome. For our number nine or 20 series, you have these here smaller collets that is, this being the straight collet. It's ideal for a, you know, a little bit of a tighter space, but gas coverage wise, I definitely prefer the gas lens, especially. Coverage is everything when TIG welding especially, so I always like more gas coverage with a nice flow and the gas lens gives me that. Now we're gonna go to the 17, 18 torch size here. This being your straight collet. You can utilize two different types of collets with these gas lenses or straight collets. You have what is a, a split collet here. That's actually the button cap will wedge that piece straight into there and clamp onto the tungsten. You also have what they call a wedge collet. 
So it's kind of cut on an angle. And now when your back cap presses up on this, it's actually gonna wedge the tungsten in there. I prefer the clamp down style, call it, because the wedge call it, whenever I loosen up that button cap and I try to throw the tungsten out to replace it, the collet almost grabs because it's pushing on it again with that wedging effect. So I don't really use these too often. I've tried them and I just didn't, it didn't work for me uh, when I was trying to get the tungsten out. I hated fighting with it and taking the back cap off. So gas lens as well. You can use this same collet for the 17, 18 torch um, and gas lens. When utilizing this gas lens, you're gonna need a insulator to help seal that cup to that torch so you can ensure you have good flow and you're not drawing any oxygen in there. So just be sure that you have the right insulators on there when using these different cups and collets and stuff like that. So you also have the jumbo gas lens. Just for bigger cup sizes, this is gonna be what's needed. I've only used these a number of times for you know big fillet welds and stuff of that nature, but they work awesome. The gas lenses, they do great. Then you got some specialty cups here as well. We've got some of the Furic cups here. This is a, I believe a number 14 size on the cup shielding size, mainly for stainless, titanium, chromoly, stuff like that, where you need a lot of gas coverage. And these cups are made out of Pyrex. Also, they make one for aluminum as well. Very nice straight collet design here. Has a diffuser on the inside to help with that gas coverage, which is awesome. Uh, I try to stick with the gas lenses and the Furic cups majority of the time. I'm gonna go through some of the different cups now that we have. This is the very, very tiny, tiny cup for the uh, no backing torch here. It's not very common to see some of these things, so it's nice to be able to have this in my arsenal. I have needed it on roll cages and stuff like that, where it's tied up against the roof or when you're trying to tie in. Then you have for your number 20, number nine gas lenses, this is the cup that would correspond with the, the gas lens to it. And then we have here, this is your regular gas lens cup for your 18 and 17 torches. This will be the one you'll need to bump up the insulator to use that, as well as your jumbo cup here. You can see the size difference. You're just gonna get so much more gas coverage with these. And then on our straight collet over here, this one is a for a longer stick out. I don't use this too much, but it is nice to have um, in the arsenal from time to time. And then you have the heavy wall. This would be for big, big, thick pipe where you can't really get the torch in there that close to your root and, and, and uh, your hot passes and filling it out. So you're going to need that long nozzle right there to get the stick out to get down in that groove deep enough. Now I'm going to go through some of these specialty torches and things that you don't really see too very often. These 26s, you don't see that often as well as like we have these straight torches here. Nobody ever sees the pencil torch. I have never seen a straight up pencil torch like this. And coincidentally, I got two of them here. I got a water cooled one and an air cooled one. They're nice when you need them. The problem is you got to change out the whole TIG torch by doing this. If anyone has ever put on a new water cooled torch, it's not fun. The water goes everywhere. You got to make these connections, make sure you have everything right. So preferably what I like to use is this torch right here. It threads apart in a couple of different sections. You can have the valve on here if you wanted. They also make a piece without the valve. If you don't want this flex piece in here, they make a hard piece that'll go in there and thread on as well. The heads as well. Remember how I said that straight torch, that pencil torch was nice when needed? Well, how about if I didn't have to change the whole rig and I could just change the torch tip itself? This company makes several different size heads that go on this torch. It's got the straight, it's got the 90 degree, it's got the 60 degree, it's got the 17, 
It's got the nine. It also has the button back torch on there. So this is really what helps me the most is being able to change these parts out with ease and to have everything I need in one box. It's amazing that someone actually offers this product. And if I needed to get this thing out there even further, they even make a transition piece so you can connect two of these together. Sometimes your torch handle is just not long enough to get down where you're, where you're trying to go. So you need some more reach at the same time. Who's ever seen a TIG torch that long? I could have used it a time or two before. So these are just some of the torches in the industry. You see there's a variance of different things here. You can check out these products online, you know, do your own research and look online as well to other people's reviews and what they think. Anything to help you make your decision and make your job easier. That's all I'm trying to do here. So thanks for watching. You can get connected with us on weld.com in the members section and connect with us directly, as well as you can head over to the forum and ask questions and our advisors will be glad to answer your questions. So we'll see you next time. <music>